what is up my dudes kevin here we are back with a brand new red dead online video and in today's video i'm going to show you guys some awesome cougar spawning locations where we're going to be able to get two cougars in one go so you already know we're going to make a bunch of money with this so if you do enjoy it or if it is helpful drop a like down the video comment down below if you have any other suggestions to make this method even better besides that guys subscribe to the channel and let's get right on to it so as i said in the intro guys today we're going to be doing a money making method where we're going to get not one, but two cougars in one route. So it's going to be super beneficial and super efficient. So first things first, guys, you're going to need two horses for this method as we're going to be grabbing two cougars. Now, these cougars, you know, usually cougar spawns are pretty spread out, but these two are very close to each other, which makes it very easy. Now, might as well grab this guy since I'm going to need his horse. But basically, like I said, the first part of this method is simply getting yourself a second horse. Which is very, very easy. Let me show you guys where I'm at on the map right here. Tons of horses ride across this route right here. So you can simply come here and get a second horse. Or if you're starting in Blackwater, guys, there's always horses hitched up right along this road. So you should have no problem getting yourself an extra horse. So once you have the extra horse, make sure you tell your normal horse to follow you. And it's important that you're riding the horse that you stole because, as you know, the horse that you steal will not follow you. But the horse that you own will follow you. So that's the trick with this method. Now, the reason I'm stealing my horse all the way up here is because the, actually the first cougar spawn location is going to be right here on the map, guys. So it's very close to where we have to get the cougar. So all you want to do is travel up this way. Let me show you guys exactly where we are. We can slide in through this little opening right here, guys. This is the easiest way to get to the cougar location. So let's make our way up there, and I'll show you guys exactly where the cougar is at. All right, so here we go. You can already see the cougar is laying down right there guys and it's a three star cougar so at this point you want to stay on the horse that you guys have because the gunshot may or may not scare it away you don't want to risk it so basically we just want to get close enough where you guys can get a clean shot on the head but not get the cougar to attack you so right here should be good take the shot i missed it boys i missed the shot all right, so it looks like we actually did get a clean shot on the cougar and he bled out and died and we still got the three star cougar so that's what we wanted now hitch your horse to a tree here so it doesn't you know run away or anything you don't have to worry too much about your horse so we're going to load this first cougar onto the horse that we own because we don't want to worry about pretty much losing the first cougar that we have and the second cougar will be a lot easier to get let's go ahead and put the pelt on our horse we'll load the cougar up onto this horse as well then we'll hop back on the random horse again we'll be on our way to the second cougar location guys so again the cougar is gonna be right here exactly right here guys all right but now from here once you're all loaded up we're gonna head on to this spot right here so it's on the way towards blackwater where we just came from so actually do not follow this random route it gives you could literally just ride back through here and it'll take you down this way it's a lot quicker than whichever auto route they give you all right so we're all loaded up i'm gonna head back down over there and i'll see you guys in a second now a quick tip on your way there there's a bunch of different little animals on the way there so if you want to grab those kill those throw them in your bag just some extra little cash for you guys uh i don't think i'm gonna do that unless i come across some you know nice birds but i'm um, definitely something you guys can do if you want some extra cash oh also do not forget to call your horse i kind of just did that but luckily i didn't go too far away so he's still coming come on buddy so yeah, don't forget to do that. You will lose the cougar. So we're approaching the location of the second cougar. So again, let me show you on the map. And he's going to be anywhere within this intersection. So be on guard when you approach this because you do not want to get knocked off your horse. If it does happen, don't worry. It's not too bad because we have the first cougar on our second horse. That's why we did that in case we do fall off this horse. Now this cougar spawn can be a little trickier. So guys, take it slow. And you'll see on your little mini map pop up a red little dot. And that's when you know you're nearby. So just play close attention to your mini map when you're approaching this area all right guys so there's the second cougar let me show you exactly on the map before he starts chasing us but right around this area so he tends to spawn on the riverside now i've seen him over here before and i've seen him over here before so just pay attention to this side of the river and you guys should be all right or that side of the road i mean so same deal with this one guys you don't want to get too close to where he starts attacking you because it's a good chance you're going to knock off your horse so just get close enough where you guys can get a nice edge shot on him so here we go please boys please got him there we go all right so at this point we're good to go guys you have no worries anymore so like i said get a tree nearby let's hitch this horse up so it doesn't run no matter what so again let's skin this bad boy 
We'll throw them on our horse. And now we got two cougars, guys. That's going to be a lot of money right there. So pretty much like doing a single cougar run, except better. So double the profit, and it doesn't really take much longer at all. The only added extra time is literally riding from that first spot to the second spot, which is not far. It's literally like eh, a minute long ride. All right, and we're set, guys. So let's unhitch our horse, hop on, and let's head on back into Blackwater. So again, let me show you guys real quick. The first cougar spawn was right here. Second cougar spawn right here and now what the right here and now we're gonna head back into blackwater butcher so it's a very linear route super easy and super effective now also if you guys want to get crazy you could even fish at aurora basin before you even start this there's some really good fishing spots here if you want to use the carcass method right in this general location guys just get a carcass throw it around in the shallow water you guys are gonna have tons of fish coming so you could do that before you do that and then head on over to the cougar spots and uh, you guys can make an extra like I don't know, 30 bucks or so on top of what we're gonna get from these cougars so just an extra little tip for you guys let's head on back into blackwater now all right so we're back at blackwater again guys make sure you hitch up the horse that's not yours we don't want to run away with the uh, cougar on his back so we're gonna take the cougar off this horse all right let's head on over to the butchers real quick let's sell what we got so far so we got the cougar that's on our back which is gonna be 1350 all right so sell that we got four cougar fangs that's from two cougars that's two dollars right there and we also got the big game meat that's gonna be four dollars fifty cents for all those all right so now at this point all right let's bring our normal horse on over all right let's go ahead and sell this cougar now it's an extra 1350 for this that's some good money right there so we got 1350 plus 1350 and then we got two pelts let's uh oh no boys we done got glitched our pelts got glitched on our horses. I think this one's got messed up too. Yeah, this one got messed up too. Crap, boys. So, okay. A quick tip to avoid that is just put the pelts on the same horse. I should have done that from the start. I forgot about that, guys. So, when you get the first cougar pelt, make sure you put it onto this horse. And when you get the second cougar, take that cougar off your horse. Then put that pelt on the same horse, your horse. And then put the cougar back on top and then put the extra carcass on the normal horse and you guys should avoid this problem not really sure what happens but i found that that does help a lot um but when it does happen it's a real pain in the ass because um yeah i can't get that pelt off i think i'll have to get my horse knocked over or um i'm sure there's a couple methods but anyways just so you guys know the perfect cougar pelts go for five dollars each so that'll be an extra ten dollars on top of what we got from those carcasses the fangs and the meat so just so you guys know, you'll get an extra 10 from what I got. Um, obviously, I just ran into unlucky glitch. But um, if you guys know some other fixes to this problem, uh, let me know because I don't know myself. Uh, maybe you guys in the comments know I really appreciate that. Maybe help out some other people that have this issue before. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. Drop a like down the video if it was. Comment down below any improvements you have to this method. And other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.